Lastly, I believe the responders have an important message, especially today. All the proceeds from this program, the book, the movie, and everything we do goes back to the responders and to this project. It's so important that we as a people tell our story and so that others can see it and learn from it and then tell others. This is our history. These are our responders. This is a, should be both a great source of thought and pride for all of us. Thank you and we'll take questions now. Yeah, most of the, most of the film, uh, most of the uh, responders that uh, participated in this program came from our uh, clinics. Uh, we follow 6,000 responders from across uh, Long Island. However, as part of our, um, our expansion of the program and, is, uh, and its uh, acceptance into the Library of Congress, we're going to be expanding it to responders who came from throughout the United States. How many oral histories have we performed? Uh, at this point, we've uh, performed uh, 150 complete oral histories, uh, and uh, our aim is to complete 911 by the end of the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Thanks so very much for your courtesy. I, I, again, I, I was very touched by Detective Raphael and his guidance to that little girl and father to the edge of the precipice, if you would, of this horrible disaster. Uh, I don't remember the Holocaust as a living person, but I've studied it all my life. And I thought the analogy of bringing this little girl in a metaphorical atmosphere to make sure humanity remembers the evil that is put upon them and how we respond to it was touching to me and hopefully will be touching for people for very many years. I wish he was here. If he is, I want to hug him. Where are you? Where are you? God bless you. didn't pay me. Uh, <laughs> your wisdom and your compassion and your love, as it was with all the people that were part of this, I don't know what to say, man. I'm crying so hard inside. God bless you and everyone who's involved. officials, but uh, we'd like to, if, if we do interview, we haven't, but if we do interview, we'll, we'd like to interview them as human beings and not as politicians. Uh, I think that that's the major emphasis of our story is to really to talk about the, uh, the humanity of it all and not the policy, which I think 
a lot of 9-11 uh, has uh, basically become subordinated to uh, is to those types of, uh, of issues of, of politics and partisanship and things mm -hmm. of that sort. So we'd be very interested, but I, I, I think your questions would probably be very different. Anyway, as I said, uh, there's, uh, I'd love to meet you all at the uh, Wong Center, and uh, thank you so much for coming.